JS on air now. A drunk driver plowed his car into a snowbank last winter. Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark first on the scene. And what happened next is now part of an internal investigation. We're joined by Journal Sentinel reporter Daniel Bice. So Daniel, some would say this doesn't look very good for the sheriff because he actually tried to help this guy get back on the road. That's all right. According to the police reports, um, he tried to push the car and then he tried to pull the car out of the snow. And then when a second deputy arrived at the scene, she did what you would probably expect the sheriff to have done. She checked to see if the driver's license was suspended, and it was. And then she saw that he appeared, that the driver appeared to be drunk. And when she looked in the, into the car, she saw that um, there were several beer cans, an open beer can. And when she talked to the driver, he said he actually plowed into the snowbank when he was trying to open one of the beers and drink out of it. I think what's probably troubling to a lot of people is less what the sheriff did initially at the scene and more what he has done subsequently because this second deputy now under investigation. It's an unusual and weird situation. She did what you would expect someone to do at the scene, wrote a report about it, and a couple of months ago some deputies started contacting me about this and so I, I made an open records request and after I made the open records request they decided to open an investigation of the second deputy. She can't talk about the situation now because of the investigation, and um, Sheriff Clark nor his staff will talk. And, and, you know, generally, when I write things, they're frequently controversial, but um, Sheriff Clark usually returns my calls and is willing to engage and talk about things, but this time um, he's yet to return a call or yet to talk about it. And Daniel, quickly, what's interesting about this as well is that Sheriff Clark has always pushed for tougher drunk driving laws. He has. He has, a, he has a task force. He's been very critical of judges who have handed down light sentences. And it, it appears, based on the police reports, that he didn't realize he was dealing with a drunken driver and came very close to getting the guy back out on the road. That's Daniel Bice, and his column is on the front page of the Metro section in today's edition of the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. You can also read more about it at jsonline.com. We have a link on our website as well, today's tmj4.com.